So back when I first started, we used to have this thing we'd call a plant tour. So what we would do is bring all the brokers and their brand new agents to our office, and then we would give them a tour of our plant, which would basically walk them through and how the preliminary title report was created. Now with all the new technology, everybody's a YouTube sensation. We said, hey, let's bring it and let's do a video and walk everybody through our office via the web. So I'm here with Pam Plummer, our open order desk, and she just got an email from escrow, just came in to open up a new order. So Pam, what information are you getting from escrow? What are you inputting in the system and where is this stuff going? Owner's information? Yes, I'm looking for the escrow information, the buyer, the seller, the parcel number, sales price, the listing agent, selling agent, and importantly, the rep credit. She's looking for all this information. So anytime an escrow gets open, make sure you're providing everything to escrow because she's inputting it in this system. Our system's called Soft Pro, and she pushes that over to where? Or who's, who's getting that? To our searching department. Searching department, get it, and that's where we're headed next. Okay, we just got the open order from Pam, and Pam shoots it off here to our production department here, and we're here to speak to Deanne in our production department. Hi, my name is Deanne, and the first step that we're gonna come to in the production department is searching. Searching is the department where we are going to take that open order sheet, and we are going to search that pro particular property. Our searchers are going to compile everything on that property, they're going to look into the taxes, tax sales, anything that applies with your taxes. They're going to compile the property run, everything in the property. They're going to look at the public record, search it all the way back as far as they have to. We're going to look at maps. We're going to look at track maps, subdivision maps, records of survey, whatever we need to compile that property together. So now let's talk about examining. Once our property has been into the searching area, that is, everything is compiled on that property. It goes over to our examiners, and um, that examiner is going to be responsible for taking every single thing that's in that file, everything from the taxes, everything from all the documents that have been recorded, mortgages, deeds of trust, um, certificates of compliance, lot line adjustments, whatever shows up on that property, we're gonna make sense of it. We're gonna take everything, we are going to abstract all those documents and we are going to compile a report. A report that is accurate and that will reflect everything that you need to know about that property. So Deanne, why are some prelims done faster than others? Well, that can depend from property to property. Sometimes the holdup is in the searching department. Sometimes it becomes very critical to make sure that we have the right property and um, the searching process can be quite lengthy. We might have to go back to the earlier part of the century sometimes, 1920s, 1930s, to find a complete picture of the property if it hasn't been um, insured. From like all the way back to when the United Absolutely. States deeded out? Absolutely. Sometimes okay. a piece of property has not been insured um, ever. And mm. we have to take that back all the way as far as we can to make sure that we pick everything up. Any reservations of easements, anything that is uh, of record, we have to pick mm. that up. Excellent. So each property is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get. That's right. So we just saw the searching and examining portion of it in production. Now that prelim gets pushed over. And some of you have seen his name on the preliminary title report. I got the godfather of title, Dan Doolin. He's here. He's live. He's not, he's not a myth. This guy is real. So Dan, once we got that prelim, it goes out. Escrow pushes it out to the clients. And then where are we going from here? Right, we send it to the escrow client and then the, the escrow receives it and they send it to the you know, buyer, seller, agent, and so forth. And what they do at that point is identify what problems could be on the title report. Uh, whether we have, uh, you know, what trustees, what mortgages we have on the property we need to clear. Uh, do we have a vesting issue uh, where we have a trustee of a trust that perhaps has passed? And they identify what documents can work with us to uh, get the documentation in our file to take a deed, an instance for a successor trustee. Uh, the other thing they do is go through the prelim and uh, identify the monetary liens, if there are water liens or any of those other types of obligations that right. need to be paid. City liens, uh, sometimes county actions with like a, a notice of penancy, penancy that there's right. a violation on the property. So that's what we do uh, once the prelim goes out, that process starts and we work with escrow. Constant people. collaboration, email, Absolutely. phone calls, 100 times every file it seems like, right? A absolutely, <laughs> it, and we work through it together. I mean, and that's the, that's the key to what we do is to, to be in touch with escrow so there's back and forth. And we get everything we need prior to closing. 
so we don't have any surprises at the last minute, which would delay the closing. And we do get the surprises all the time. And keep in mind, we are the last ones to say yay or nay on a closing. I mean, issues pop up that didn't get cleared or we didn't know about because nobody remembers that they had a child support lien, right, until we find it at the, at the, at the 11th hour. So if it doesn't happen, we're not closing. We're it. This is where this is where the deal stops right here. Well, we have a duty to give clear title to uh, to the buyer. You know, we have a duty to clear that title and not give them a problem or not miss something where it's a problem. And that's where title insurance comes in. If there is an issue where something is missed, well, there's a title policy behind that, and it's protecting them that we've done our job. And their lender, over they're getting a loan on the property. Their lender, we're insuring that lender that the title's being cleared as the new buyer takes back. Exactly. Our duty is twofold. It's to the buyer and it's to the lender. You know, make sure that loan is in first position and has the, uh, you know, they've we've taken care of any liens. Right. So now we're talking about the day of recording. The deal's finally going to close, we hope. But keep in mind, the prelim came out of production 20 days ago, 30 days ago, right? So this was a, this was a while back. So now we're getting ready to record. What has to happen? What's one of the steps we got to go through? Well, what we do when we receive the instruction to record is we date down the file on our title. We're rerunning this thing all over again. Right. We're rerunning it, making sure nothing has intervened. You know, there's a water lien or there's some other type of lien that has just recorded in between when our report was issued and when we're closing. So that's key to identifying problems at the last minute. No one likes problems at the last minute, but you want to find if there's a problem prior to closing because no one likes post-closing matters. Um, so the date down is very important. Uh, double check everything and uh, make sure that we, uh, we have a good title search and a current title search. Yeah. So we're talking about the day of recording. Escrow has the original documents. Escrow gets those documents down to us. And then where are we going from there? Well, basically they come in many times day of recording, but often before. And when the documents come in, we abstract those documents to confirm that they're recordable. Uh, check the file. And uh, once, we, once we submit them electronically, we submit them right across the hall. We have a, uh, an officer that submits those. And the thing to remember is they check them again and we send, submit them to the county recorder, but they're put into a queue when they're received. So on the other end of that electronic uh, submittal is the county recorder deputy with the county recorder. And they, they go through and make sure the document is executed properly, uh, that it has the appropriate uh, language, and that the document is recordable form. So it's not something that happens instantly. Uh, they go into a queue and the county does them as they receive them. So uh, it can take some time, especially on you know very uh, busy, high volume days like the end of the month, for instance. Uh, so just, it's not an instant thing is the thing I wanted to convey. Yeah, so some clients would say, hey, you know what, my document's recording, I got people moving in, they're, they're, they're in the driveway, is there any way you could record our document first? It's like trying to find a needle, a needle in the haystack. We just, we can't do that. They're in a queue with everybody else's documents. We're waiting on the county recorder. They're not waiting on us. We've already done our part. The last part's the county recorder and that's who we're waiting on. Okay, we just got confirmation and this is the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm here in the payoff department. Let's talk about getting paid. Jennifer, take us home from here. Okay, we've received confirmation. We're gonna get all of your liens, judgments, mortgages and taxes dispersed and then we will send over all the proceeds and commissions over to escrow so the brokers can get paid so we took it to the title process from beginning to the end but we didn't go over sometimes the problems come up at the end and sometimes you got a buyer sitting there in the driveway waiting to move in about to be homeless the clients that have dealt with us in the past know they can count on us when a problem arises that we're going to make it happen Bobby and I closed over 4,000 transactions last year. Not all of them were easy. So keep in mind, on your next real estate transaction, make sure you're choosing Chicago title.